say one thing that made me really proud of the St. Francis team this year is their commitment to the project. Though they had very real reasons to have issues, they never made any excuses. They showed up to all the meetings. Um, they really embraced the idea of, you know, uh, anti-racism, which is important and I feel a lot of people run away from. Our clinicians, whether they were physicians or um, nurses, or even people who had um, technical expertise in other areas, that they embraced the community advisor's wisdom, which to me was really important. One thing that made me the most proud, um, proudest of the team was when they attended, they showed up and showed out, okay? Um, the AV and community action team meeting. It's important to see members of the hospital staff attend these meetings and be in these spaces because for one, it shows that they care. It shows that they care and it shows the community that they're involved in, you know, um, being, being a part of the solution. With the UCLA team, I'm really proud of the way they have looked at their data um, and done a real deep dive into their data and just aggregating the data by race and looking at what are some of the racial gaps um, and their outcomes. When I think about the thing that I was most proud of, the Miller's team, uh, seeing uh, them come together so quickly um, with such, I'm going to say, with such energy around the task. I was really um, excited about the fact that um, the participants in our team meetings uh, were eager to share and to contribute and um, the work that they were able to bring. Thing that I would like to see implemented in the implementation year definitely is more um, in-person meetings. So of course, navigating the virtual space is amazing, but seeing you guys in person, speaking in person, it's a different different type of connect. Be willing to have the community advisors participate with you. Reach out, um, include inclusive, you know, have an inclusive relationship. We come to this work with experiences, a vast array of experiences and expertise and knowledge. I need uh, a relationship built that hit. people aren't accustomed to building and collaborating around Black maternal and infant health. Just continue to have the bravery to have the conversations that we're having, continue to have the commitment to do something that is difficult and not always comfortable, um, continue with the openness uh, to approach um, health in terms of community-centeredness, in terms of centering Black families and Black experiences. This work, really, this practice transformation work to embed equity and justice in your institution, it's hard. You are going to be unlearning um, just thoughts that people have, practices that have been like institutionalized for like decades. Um, and it's not going to happen overnight. And, and it won't happen within all of it, within the two years of Cherished Future. So really, how do you set up yourself for sustainable change?